डू यू नो अबाउट द ओल्डेस्ट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इन आर कंट्री टेक अ मूवमेंट टू गेस इट यू गेस इट रॉन्ग आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एस सी बैंगलोर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आई ए सी एस इंडियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ कल्टिवेशन ऑफ साइंसेस हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अखिल त्रिपाठी नाइजर एलमनस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट आई एस सी एस इट्स एलिजिबिलिटी एग्जाम पैटर्न स्कॉलरशिप दैट आई एस सी एस ऑफर्स यू एंड हाउ यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन So IACS is not only the oldest research institute in India in the entire Asia continent it is the oldest one and it was established even before IIC Bangalore in 1876 IACS is funded by the DST government of India do you know him he is the only person in india in sciences to get a nobel prize he worked at iacs in 1907 to 1933 and he received the nobel prize while working at this institution not only that famous physicist astrophysicist dr meghna saha also worked at iacs so you can get an idea about the legacy of this institution which have produced Nobel laureates we will now get to who will teach you in this institution do you know the professors at iacs are world famous scientists and researchers people who have produced large number of publications in renowned journals who have a large number of citations who are awardee of india's top science award shanti swaru bhatnakar award and much more do you know the person who is the chief editor of the eminent indian journal of physics is a senior professor at i ICS IACS is considered to be India's one of the best chemistry research institute and worldwide sixth rank as per the nature index rankings so this is the legacy of this institution now let's move to the curriculum iacs offers a 5 year bs ms program similar to that of iisers in the first three semester you will be doing the foundational courses in physics chemistry math biology and computer sciences and after the third semester you will choose your major discipline and in your seventh semester you will be eligible to do your research work your master project under a supervision of a renowned professor from their field of interest now we will move to the good part that iacs also offers you scholarships even in iisers only the students who have inspired or they were the previous awardee of the kvpy scholarship they get a scholarship but iacs have its own institutional scholarship in your fourth year onwards after your sixth semester from seventh semester you get a scholarship of 12000 rupees per month while studying at iacs if you maintain a cgpa more than 7.5 So first three years you do not get a scholarship, but after three years you get twelve thousand rupees of per month scholarship. That is maximum in the country for MSc students without a PhD program. The cherry on the top, IACS fees is even lesser than that of IISs. In IISs you have to pay more than seventy thousand of fees per year, but in IACS the fees is only thirteen thousand five hundred rupees. annually so this is your fees at iacs for a single year so annually in less than 1 lakh rupees you will get the complete degree of bs ms from iacs iacs also now have the exit options after first year second year third year you can get a bsc bs degree and take an exit after fourth year you can take a bs research degree and get an exit so you also have that flexibility in iacs So now you know the details about this prestigious institution but how you will get into this you have to appear for the IACS UPST examination that will be conducted on this 7th of June 
फ्रॉम नाइन ए एम टू ट्वेल्व पी एम any student who is in class 12th and if they have chosen maths as a background either you can have pcmb or pcm or any other combination along with pcm you are eligible for admission to iacs you have to first appear for this iacs written examination it's an mcq pre screening interview examination after you qualify for this examination you will get a cut off and you will be called for an interview the short listed candidates of the interview which will be not more than 80 people will get admission to this institution so now what is the exam pattern for this iacs upsc examination that is called the stage one of getting admission into iacs you will be having 80 multiple choice question having single option correct 20 each from physics chemistry and mathematics and you will have an option of doing the 20 question from either biology or computer science based on your background and if you do an incorrect question you will be getting minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 or minus 0.66 marks in your paper and if you do a correct question you get plus 2 marks for your correct selection of the answer so now we will get into the iacs registration process how you can apply for this examination go to this website iacs registration and get into the admission to integrated bachelor's masters program and click on here the detail advertisement i have already explained you all the details so now we will get back to the click here for online application so we have to do an online new registration the same you have to take care of this browser so you are using a compatible browser you are mentioned that you will receive the user id and password so you have to fill in all these details you have to confirm your application name date of birth mobile number email id these information are being collected for the application so so we will get back to the registration fill out the name So I will be registering. My name is Akhil Dripathi, and my date of birth is. I will not disclose my date of birth. I am putting a random date of birth. Sahastha support mobile number. I am putting Sahastha support. ठीक है आई विल क्लिक ऑन जनरेट ओ टी पी लेट सी काइंडली यूज ओ टी पी रिसीव ऑन योर मोबाइल नंबर और ई मेल एड्रेस सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू पुट अ फंक्शनल मोबाइल नंबर एंड ई मेल आई डी एंड डोंट मेक एनी मिस्टेक वाइल पुटिंग दीज नंबर बिकॉज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू द फर्दर प्रोसेस एंड अप्लाई फॉर आई एस सी एस इफ यू पुट एन रॉन्ग नंबर So what is the OTP? Let's check. OTP has been successfully validated, and I am now almost done with the first step of registering for IACS. So I will re-verify. I will check on the declaration. Make sure you check in, and the name I have put in. My name is Akhil Tripathi. Check box. Date of birth. The random date of birth I have put in. the support email id is correct the number is also correct and i will put in the submit button make sure we validate these things and do not make any mistake okay so submit you have successfully registered from now the application portal i can complete my further registration in further registration like your iit form you have to put in all the details your personal details your contact details your permanent address the address which you belong to you can put 
the same permanent address as a alternate address if these are same or in case of difference you can put in both of these addresses put your photograph and signature here so make sure you scan a copy of your photograph and your signature to upload it here you have the option to check in yes or no if you need the hostel accommodation upload a passport size image and signature you have to upload it here and you have to put in the other information and after that the education details the exam city in which you want to appear for this iscs upst examination you have to put in and further make the payment and you are done with the application of iscs so in preparation we will be helping you after you register for iscs you do not need a separate crash course for iscs we have our iit and nest crash courses in our application these are sufficient for you to prepare for iscs because the difficulty level of exam is similar to iser aptitude test and whatever other supported needed we will be giving you access to free mega mock test in iscs you can download our saestra app and in free test section you can attempt a similar to iscs exam pattern mock in our application we will be also planning to launch iscs mock test series if you are interested you can let us know in the comments and based upon your demands we will bring you iscs special mock test series so with that see you in iscs jai hind jai bharat